you have Octonauts fans at your house, it's a Disney Junior show. You can't find their stuffed animals or their figurines in this country. You have to go on eBay <laughs> and then pay a bunch in shipping to get it shipped from overseas. So this is something I thought I would just do myself and have a little playset for the kids. You go to Disney Junior and they always have printables and colors, colorables. I'm gonna glue it with a little <laughs> glue stick to the cardstock paper and then I'm just gonna cut it out in a square and then um, laminate them. And they absolutely love them. And you can use them as magnets if you wanted to do a magnet on the back and you use like the, the um, a metal baking sheet. So that could be your little play set area thingy. Or you could um, just leave them as is. It might grow out of certain things really quickly. So it just saves you money. So what I have right here, I'm gonna show you my big honkin' laminator. This is a big honkin' laminator. I got this for $40 at um, one of those postal shipping places. I would always go in there laminating things and finally one day I was like, how much would you <laughs> sell me your laminator, lam laminator for? And he was like, funny you should say that because I'm gonna be putting it on eBay because I got a brand new one and we won't need this one anymore. I said, I'll give you 40 and they're, they're worth way more than that. But I was like, then you won't have to go through the listing of it on eBay and then, or Craigslist I think is what he was gonna do and then you won't have to list it, then you won't have to have people not show or like call people. I'll just give you the money right here and you'll be done with it. And so he said yes. And <laughs> he actually threw in a bunch of laminating pouches for free with it too that went with it. So I scored a major deal there. It's a commercial grade one. I mean, if I drop that thing, it's like a tank, it's not gonna break or anything. So I'm just gonna cut these out. So they're glued, uh, to the cardstock then you're going to cut them out and i think i'm going to do it like this captain barnacles right here where i'm going to just kind of not cut out every little tiny detail because if you did then like their arm if it's sticking out like this one might it's more bendable that way so then i have to cut them out next and then we'll laminate them okay so i've got my little pouch here that is my laminating pouch and then i've cut these guys out they're already on cardstock paper so I'm just gonna put them on in the laminating pouch. My laminator makes me use a top cover thingy. <laughs> so I'm gonna flatten this and make sure it's all nice and smooth and then run it through the laminator. It's green, that means it's hot enough and I'm just gonna run it through the little feeder. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> okay, so here is the narwhal cutout, and isn't he so cute? You could totally put a flannel backing on there and put it on a flannel board, or you could do a magnetic back to stick it on a fridge or a chalkboard panel or a baking pan or something. Or you could even just make stands for it if you wanted to. Or you could just leave it as is. Whatever you want to do, man. So I'm all done. All of the pieces fit in just a little sandwich baggie. So it doesn't take up hardly any room at all. And you have this wonderful playset. They were playing with it and loved it. It's just a cheap and easy way to keep your kids entertained. If you don't have a laminator, you can just use contact paper or whatever else you got. So, all right. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time on the Green Apple Home.